Hi, well, I'm Professor Stephen Nesheva, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about uh, what is electromagnetic radiation. And for this little uh, mini lecture, I'm just going to focus on the electric part, not the magnetic part of, uh, of what's called electromagnetic radiation. And, uh, and I'm really going to focus on what electromagnetic radiation does to, uh, to, uh, to charged particles, because that's kind of the key of it. And uh, if we just imagine a ray of light, it's moving along at the speed of light, and uh, maybe it happens upon a charged particle, could be um, you know, the nucleus of an atom, or maybe an electron, something like that. Well, as it happens, that light will cause those particles to accelerate up and down, okay? And uh, our interpretation of that uh, is really wh where we get into what light is. And uh, our interpretation goes something like this. This, this ray of light, we're going to think of as, a, as, as this thing that's propagating, you know, from left to right, still going at the speed of light. Uh, it's got this kind of waviness to it, um, among other things. You know, we could say it has a certain wavelength that goes from the peak of that to the peak of that there. So what is this? Well, what we're saying is that um, the light has a phase, okay? The phase, in this case, I've oriented to be right here in the plane of the board. And the idea is that when the positive phase of this light um, encounters a positive charge, it will accelerate that charge up. Um, I haven't drawn it here, but you can imagine that when this whole wave of light gets a little bit farther forward and the negative phase of that light uh, catches up with that positive particle, then it's going to actually have the opposite effect and it's going to uh, accelerate it down. So you can see that the effect of electromagnetic radiation uh, is this, uh, you know, rapidly um, up and down acceleration of charged particles. Here's the thing though, it has the opposite effect on negative particles. Namely, when the positive phase of the electromagnetic light is um, around a negative particle, it sends it, it sends it down and, instead of up. Now, of course, a little bit later, it's going to send it up. So it's also going to vibrate that. So I have a little uh, um, diagram here for you. When, when the charge of the particle is positive and the phase of the particle particle, uh, it, the phase of the, of the light is positive, it, it accelerates up. I'm just going to do it that way, okay? And uh, still having a positively charged particle, but the phase, this part here, when it catches up to the particle, uh, it will do this, okay? And we have the opposite acceleration for a negatively charged particle. So I'm going to fill in that table that way. So what does this mean um, for, if what we have is an antenna, that's a whole, you can think of an antenna as being just a whole bunch of sort of fairly loosely held electrons on a, on a, on a wire. So as the, uh, as the light, you know, comes and hits that antenna, and as long as the, uh, you know, when the positive phase of that light hits the antenna, it's going to send all those electrons down. How do I remember that? Well, because positive phase of the antenna, negative charge sends the electrons down. But then a little bit later, when the negative part of the uh, electromagnetic radiation catches up with that antenna and it'll send it up once again according to, to that. So that's basically how radios work is um, electromagnetic radiation moving electrons and antennas up and down. How does it work for atoms and molecules? Well we kind of have a similar thing but now the atom, the charges on the atom or molecule are pretty close together so now we kind of have both effects at once. So for example, let's suppose the positive phase of the electromagnetic radiation is, is washing past uh, this atom, and this atom consists of a positive charge, maybe it's a hydrogen nucleus, and an electron. Well, according to uh, my diagram, when the positive phase is washing by that uh, atom, it's going to, what, it's going to send the, um, it's going to send the positive part of, the, of the, the nucleus up, and it will send the, the electron down. But then again, after a little while, it might, uh, you know, when the negative phase catches up with this, it might um, reverse that effect. And so you can imagine that it could sort of rock um, a, 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 an atom, or there might be other things that go on, maybe um, 
maybe maybe the actual the atom actually moves uh, in a little bit in sync, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. There's another possibility here. Uh, it's not separate atoms and uh, a nucleon and electrons, but we all know that the HF atom is pretty polar because fluorine is so electronegative. So it's kind of a similar thing when the positive phase of the light catches up with this molecule um, because of my little diagram here, it's going to send that fluorine down and it's going to send the hydrogen up, but because they're stuck, it'll tend to kind of rotate that, that molecule. Okay, so that's that.